This robot obviously traverses in its own lane, which you're looking at right now. We can do a lot of different things while it's in that lane. And while the robot is traversing, the machines are still working. Welcome back, my friends. How many of you out there, when you see a gantry loading machine, they all look the same to you? They're going really fast, one direction or another, picking up parts, putting them down. Much like myself, I go, yeah, that looks the same. But Frank here, he knows some differences. And right now in this machine, this gantry loader that's making this part in just a few seconds, there is something unique and amazing about this gantry. Frank, what are we looking at and why, when I look at them, they all look the same and when you look at them, you see differences? Yeah, absolutely. So this is our new AW403 machine and it employs what we call our rail sighted robot by Fuji, right? And so this robot offers a lot more flexibility than a typical gantry robot. This, this robot obviously traverses in its own lane, which you're looking at right now. We can do a lot of different things while it's in that lane. And while the robot is traversing, the machines are still working and operating and cutting, right? So the robot can come out the front of the machines, it can come out the side of the machines. Here we can load to work stockers, special conveyors. We can add gauges on the front of the machine. We can add, incorporate cleaning and air blow. Uh, virtually a lot of different automation options that, that can be incorporated, but a completely different, more flexible robot than a gantry loader. You and I have talked previously about your uptime on your machines being around 80, 90% or sometimes even more. But what I gathered, if I'm capturing your words in layman's terms or in elementary terms as I like to hear things sometimes, is there's really no downtime on this machine because everything's working simultaneously together. This door is open, this gantry is moving, these parts are running. Did, did I understand you correctly in some of the capabilities of this rail system that's, that's unique to you guys? Yep, that's absolutely right. So, I, got, um, I got some of that right? Yeah, yeah you got it all right. Excellent. So, you know, we're, we're maximizing what the machine can do and what the automation can do. And that's where we talk about increasing production, right? And increasing profitability, right? This machine lends itself very well to that. Doing a lot of different flexibility, whether it's machining the part, loading, unloading the part, washing the part, you know, and, and it's able to do it all actually without an operator, right? You, without an operator, that's important. But you mentioned a couple of times now, which I think I've not seen too often is washing the part. Yeah. I, I, we hear about op 10s and 20s and 30s and 40s. We hear about gantry loading and unloading. We hear about even measurement systems on some of the machines that will allow you to understand if the part's good or bad and put it in specific areas. I don't hear parts washing too often. Would yeah. you mind sharing a little bit more about parts washing? And then I'm gonna ask you about this beautiful interface as the world continues to go into more modern technology. It looks similar <laughs> to our <laughs> iPhones, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, washing the part can be as simple as we're just going to wash it with coolant and we're going to air blow it, right? Mm -hmm. Or it can be more complicated. We can have an ultrasonic device that we're putting it in. You can have that. Sure, that was my curiosity, actually. And, and taking it out of. So it can be as complex as it needs to be, right? We can hand off and, and, and take it back from with our own robot, right? That's convenience of our robot. Uh, so absolutely. You know, we can do other things as far as marking the part, laser marking, to make sure we know, track where the part which spindle the part was made on, all kinds of things like that are also capable. When we talk, go ahead. So when we talk about this software, before we get into that real quick, can I tell you my experience about blowing parts off? Tell me. It was with an airline that I took with a part out of the machine and I smelled like coolant every day, all day, and my car smelled like coolant and my house started to smell like coolant because right. that was my parts washer, right. was right. my air gun on my machine. All right, enough about me and my bad machining days, but this looks really nice. It looks like it's all just, looks user friendly even. It looks color coded, which I know some of my graphics people and some of my camera people love colors in general. So can you tell me a little bit about this interface? Yeah, once again, this is our, this is our Fion's interface, Fuji Easy Operation New Standard. That's our HMI software, all these nice colors and, and touchscreen functions that you see mainly meant uh, to for easy operation, right, and maintenance and use. And that's on overlaid onto the FANUC Zero ITF Plus controller, right? Very stable controller, you know, number one controller still in the market. Amazing, absolutely amazing. These are about the only buttons I'm currently familiar with because yeah. I was a floppy disk kind of programmer and a line-by-line -line programmer. I wish I had this. 
Yeah. This is incredible. Is there anything else that I haven't asked you that you'd like to add about this system before we close out this video? Because I know how important this machine is to you and how important it can be for the market as well for people to understand, I need to give Frank a call, I need to give Fuji America a call, I need to go to their website, learn more about the specs, the details, and everything that goes with it. I just wanna make sure in this video, we've captured the essence of speed and flexibility and capability that we want to talk about yeah, today. Yeah, this machine can make round parts, it can make shafts, it can make, you know, it's making uh, EV motor shafts, for example, on this model. So it's got a lot of flexibility, a lot of capability, so. Perfect, absolutely perfect. And that's the summary of it, my friends. Thank you all for watching. This is the need for speed. And I'm not gonna quote TI, but there is a song out there that says, you can have whatever you want at Fuji America, so can you. Absolutely, thank you, Tony, for working.